Hello everyone and welcome to Forensic Extract and today we will be discussing about the mental illness and criminal responsibility. So whether a person of mental illness is responsible criminally for any act done by him or her so mental illness and the criminal responsibility it is basically very important to decide the responsibility while the person is mentally unsound so this rule is basically the right or wrong test the right or wrong test or it is also known as Mac Norton's rule Mac Norton rule and the section 84 for Indian point of view the Indian penal code section 84 is the section which defines the criminal responsibility of a person of unsound mind so please keep on watching and please do subscribe forensic extract for similar videos thank you so much of a person of unsound mind is also known as Mac Norton's rule so responsibility the criminal responsibility of a person of mental illness is known as Mac Norton's rule so uh, this rule is also known as right or wrong test right and wrong test so the law law presumes there are various presumption by the law law presumes every person as sane that everyone is sane and everyone is responsible for their action everyone is responsible for their actions so the defense the defense uh, has to prove that the accused is mentally ill so this mental illness mental illness of uh, accused has to be proved by the defense party because law presume uh, law presumes that the person is sane now that law also presumes that the every criminal act in every criminal act there must be some sort of intent criminal intent must be there criminal intent must be there or criminal intent or criminal mind that is known as mens rea so that mens rea must be there mens rea it uh, must be there or this mens rea is also known as guilty state of mind guilty state of mind so this mens rea uh, should be there and uh, in such cases or any criminal act that done by a person of unsound mind so these two presumptions must be there and these are uh, the presumption by the law now the McNaughton rule was basically devised in 1843 1843 Daniel McNaughton the person was Daniel Mac Norton so he was the person he was a Scotsman Scotsman and he was suffering from paranoid schizophrenia he was suffering from paranoid schizophrenia in which he was having delusion of persecution he was having delusion of persecution and hallucinations various hallucinations so due to that delusion due to that delusion of persecution he was having delusion that spies sent by the catholic priest the catholic priest 
with the help of Tory parties, with the help of Tories. The Tory party was ruling party at the time in 1843. So spies sent by the Catholic priest in association with Tory uh, Tories have constantly uh, following him. They were following him and hatching a conspiracy. Hatching conspiracy against him. So it was uh, the delusion of persecution uh, and he was also having auditory hallucinations. So the auditory hallucinations uh, that Tories, Tories uh, accusing him of crime of which he said he was not guilty. So he was having auditory uh, hallucinations that Tories uh, were accusing him of a crime that he was not uh, responsible for that therefore therefore macnaughton decided to kill the tories prime minister at the time the prime minister was sir robert peel so he decided to kill sir robert peel who was the prime minister of tory party at the time what happened on 20th of January 1843 on this day he shot Sir Peel's private secretary Edmund Drummond Edmund Drummond Edmund Drummond was the private secretary of Sir Robert Peel he shot him mistaking him for the prime minister so now after after killing Edmund Drummond during trial he admitted that he was driven to desperation by the persecution he was suffering from delusion of persecution and he admitted that now after that 10 physicians 9 from defense 9 from defense and one uh, from prosecution prosecution they all uh, nine physicians for uh, defense party found him of unsoundness of mind that he was having schizophrenia and he he is not of normal mental well-being so he was suffering from unsoundness of mind that has been proved by the nine physicians and one from prosecutions these 10 physicians uh, found him of unsoundness mind now he was not guilty on ground of mental illness mental illness and he was sent to mental hospital for life now he was shifted to mental hospital for life after that trial now a panel of uh, 14 judges a panel was made of 14 judges and five hypothetical questions five hypothetical questions were designed to clarify the legal position the whether this actually the right or wrong test is actually valid so uh, for that uh, clarification total five hypothetical questions uh, were framed uh, by a panel of 14 judges and the answer given the answer the final answer given on 19th june 1843 1843 and this came to be known as these answers came to be known as the macnaughton rule so these answers came to be known as McNaughton rules so according to that an accused person is not legally responsible so any accused person is not legally responsible if it is clearly proved it, it if something is clearly proved that at the time of committing the crime he was suffering from such a defect he was having any defect of reason 
because of abnormality in mind abnormality in mind that that he did not know the nature and quality of act that the because of that abnormality of mind the person is not able to know the nature and the uh, quality of act nature and quality of act that he was doing was wrong that the person was doing certain act is right or wrong the person is not able to decide because of the defect and due to abnormality in the mind if this thing is proved then acute person is not guilty the person is not uh, guilty now this legal test is uh, basically uh, as uh, accepted in india as uh, the law of criminal responsibility in section 84 of indian penal code so this is the uh, rule that is accepted the indian version is included in section 84 of ipc now according to section 84 act of a person of unsound mind any act of a person of unsound mind is defined under section 84 so that is the nothing is an offense which is done by a person who at the time of doing it by the reason of unsoundness of mind is incapable the person is incapable of knowing the nature of the act or that he is doing is either wrong or contrary to law so this is section 84 of indian penal code so it is accepted in india as the law of criminal responsibility of a person of unsoundness of mind now the macnaughton rule was basically a right or uh, wrong test it was based on the right and wrong test the person is not able to differentiate what is right and what is wrong so uh, it uh, only involved the intellectual intellectual factors it involves the intellectual factors only had taken into consideration but but the emotional factors emotional and the volitional emotional and volitional factors are not taken into consideration so that's why this is the uh, the drawback or defect in the macnaughton rule that only the intellectual factors the in- intellectual of the uh, the mind Uh, is uh, taken into consideration but not the volitional or the emotional factors